All right, so we are on the second week of reading, and you should have your passage for Thomas, and Ed Thomas Edison out. Um, I'm going to read that for you. You can listen with me. You can read along with me, whatever you choose to do. You see me squinting and messing up a little bit. It's because I'm having a hard time seeing this one. All right, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was born on February 11th, 1847 in Millen, Ohio, but grew up in Michigan. As a boy, he sold candy and newspapers on the train running from Port Huron, Michigan to Detroit, Michigan. During this time, he spent his spare time studying qualitative analysis and conducting chemical experiments. After a mishap with one of the chemical experiments, he was barred from farther experimentation on the train. During his lifetime, Edison founded 14 different companies. In 1866, Edison moved to Kentucky to work for Western Union at night. During the daytime hours, he would read and work on experiments. Some of Edison's experimentations included an improvement to the telegraph. Edison realized that four different messages could be sent over the wire stimulously. In 1874, Edison sold the rights to the quad ruplex telegraph to Western Union for $10,000. Between 1877 and 1878, Edison invented the phonograph as well as the carbon microphone. The carbon microphone was used in telephones along with the bell receiver until the 1980s. After the completion of these inventions, Edison began his work with electrical illumination. His first successful test run of, of an incandescent rent lamp with the increased resistance and decreased voltage occurred in 1879. The lamp was able to remain lit for 13.5 hours. At this time, a patient was for an electrical lamp using carbon flammant that connected to planted contact wires was filed. Shortly after he filed for the patent, he realized that carbon bamboo flammant would last more than 1,200 hours. In 1878, Edison formed the Edison Electrical Company. This company provided electricity to various cities. Although there was competition from other companies, Edison also credited Edison is also credited with inventing fluoroscopy. He found that using calcium tungstate fluoroscopy screens provided a much better x-ray picture than the previous use barium plantosilidine, I think I pronounced that right, screens. Additionally, he is credited fully or partially with the inventions of the two-way telegraph and the kinetograph for motion pictures. Edison continued to be active in businesses until his death on October 18, 1931, resulting from diabetic complications. Um, sorry, I stumbled up over some of those words, some of those words I have never seen before. Um, so basically now all you have to do is after we read this, you're going to go on Schoology, you're going to go under your folder for Thomas Edison, you're going to pick one of those three activities, similar to last week. Activity 1 is writing, and you can submit it right on Schoology. Activity 2 and 3 are more hands-on, and you can send those to me in a picture, on email, or Schoology.